You're watching Gene Edwards, Lori Johnston, and meteorologist David Hartman next read 16 Doppler weather on 16 WAPT News. Mississippi's music is soul music. Tommy Crouch, Mitch Maloof, and Wolf Stevenson must have known that when they listened to the music in their souls. Here's 16 WAPT's Gene Edwards with tonight's Mississippi Century. They had it figured out practically from the beginning. For Tommy and Mitch and Wolf, it was all about the music. Tommy and I were at Ole Miss at a time when black music, rhythm and blues music, was so prevalent uh, and so popular. When I discovered rhythm and blues music on the radio in high school, I couldn't believe it. They financed their early days promoting concerts, opened a nightclub, worked as pharmacists on weekends, just about anything to keep the doors open and the music playing. We had more fun when we could all go to lunch in one car. <laughs> the first hit came when King Floyd dropped in from New Orleans. The A-side was a ballad. The B-side was Groove Me. A disc jockey in New Orleans took the record home to his, to his kids. I brought it to my niece's party last night. They wouldn't let me take it off. And he came back the next day and called King Floyd and told him, said, man, this thing is a hit. He said, I, you know, I took it home. My kids played it all night long. Wouldn't play anything else. He said, this groove me is a hit. No, man, no, I'm screaming through the floor. No. <laughs> You're playing the wrong side. You're playing the wrong side. And he finally comes on the phone and says, hey, man, no way. And it exploded. And they kept on till 1975. We were at the point of having to have a hit record or facing going out of business. So we just basically sat down one day and said, well, look, we got to have a record that's going to sell. What have we got that we can put out? And the decision was unanimous. Uh, it was Misty Blue, the one we'd loved for years uh, and had many, many people tell us how much they thought about it, but none of the labels would pick it up. So we said, well, let's give it a shot. You know, we'll put out a a single on uh, Misty Blue. And that was November the 10th, 1975. Dorothy Moore's Misty Blue would become one of their biggest. The company would grow and change. Mitch Maloof would move on. Always, though, Malico would be about rhythm and blues. Malico recording artist Stan Mosley. Malico is rhythm and blues music. Um, after Malico, there is nobody else. This is it. There have been a lot of other labels. There have been a lot of other labels, but they, they no longer exist. Malico is it. Uh, as a matter of fact, the box that says, the last soul company. And it's true. All the others are gone. This spring, to celebrate their 30th anniversary, Wolf and Tommy put together a boxed set of their memories. And everybody's having a good time. To actually get it, the finished product in hand, and to sit there and hold it, and realize that it's been over 30 years since we started doing this. And, and honestly, it was chilling. I had chill bumps on me. It's like Wolf has always said, it's been all about good songs and good music, good times, and the promise to keep making the music they love, the rhythm and the blues. And I've been so good to you. Oh, no.